Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm getting my hands on something rather special. Not because it's rare, not because it's exotic, but it's because it's one of the most common brand new cars in the country and that is the Hyundai Creta. This is the brand new facelifted Hyundai Creta and I'm here to see what it's all about. So let's go take it for a drive, see how it is to drive and then talk about all of the toys and features. Ever since its launch in the country, the Creta has been a massive hit and with reason it's always brought a really spacious compact SUV at a very affordable price. In fact, it has always brought the most bells and whistles for the best price in the country, which is why it's always going to be a hot seller. It's got all of the toys that you would ever want in a car and there is no competition apart from nothing. There is nothing that comes with as many toys as a Creta in the price point of what? 25 lakhs. Its competition is mainly the car in another brand, the Seltos. So why would you pick the Creta? In my opinion, it's because of this new interior. It is very nice and it is less sporty than the Seltos's brand new interior. So it is a bit more calming to be in, at least on the inside. Talking about the refinement, it is a very nice and silent cabin and you've also got quite a lot of space to keep quite a lot of things. Cubby hole here, cubby hole there and you've even got a blank space right on top of the glove box that uh, is illuminated. So at night, it is a rather pretty place to be in. When it comes to engine options, you can either get a turbo petrol or this one, a turbo diesel engine. This is a 1.5 litre uh, CRDI engine that pushes out 113 bhp and 215 newton meters of torque, which is more than enough for you to ponder around in the city. But if uh, you want to give it the beans, then it's not going to be a very uh, fun car to drive. Uh, the good thing about it is that the suspension is very plush. So going over bumps and uh, taking it over rough surfaces is a breeze. One thing that could be annoying is the amount of beeps and noises that the car makes and you've also got a smart AI voice inside the car that acts as a backseat driver all the time and it tells you that there's a congestion ahead or if there is any form of uh, crossroad ahead. Yeah, exactly. And it, it is a little intrusive, especially considering that uh, if you've got lane assist control on and your roads don't have any uh, lane demarcations, it can get confused and you will be getting the beep here and there. However, this is something that is going to be there in every car. It's part of an ADAS problem and that's not a, car, uh, that's not a problem of the car, that's a problem of the infrastructure in India. So, talking about how it drives, it is a very nice car that is super smooth. Uh, in the city, you've also got a pretty decent turning radius. So there is uh, more than enough maneuverability while uh, ponding in uh, tight spaces. And also, when it comes to safety features, you've got ADAS level 2, which means you've got uh, driver assist warnings, lane departure warnings, and many other things for you to be able to drive safely. It even tells you right in front of you if there is any form of collision coming right ahead or if there is anything on your blind spot as well. So it is a very nice car filled with all of the modern necessities and that brings me to the price which is 24 lakh rupees on road Pune for the top model. If you ask me, it is a very nice car but there is one problem that it's not the Creta's fault which is the consumers and the mindset of the consumers that buy this product. Uh, a lot of people have the assumption that if you buy yourself a Creta, you are the king of the road and this is the epitome of all cars in the world, which I'm sorry to report, no, it's not. It's a car like any other and it does not give you the, the right to drive rash or even test its limits on the public road anytime you drive it. 
yes it is a great product but you don't need to hype it up so so much it's just a car like any other the creta over the years however has evolved a lot no matter how the drivers are the car overall is really nice the older design of the creta in my opinion was a bit tacky but now i feel the design of the car has matured and it feels grown up now when it comes to the design on the new facelift creta it does look quite mature and handsome now the new bumper and the new drl setup look very very nice and imposing you got a new headlight as well and moving on towards the side you've also got slimmer body cladding which looks handsome and even the new 17 inch wheels look rather nice you've got a pretty set of uh, side sills and in the rear you've also got a new set of bumper tail lights and drls so all in all the car looks uh like it's grown up and it now also has design cues from the Alcazar venue and even the Tucson so all of the Hyundai SUVs look like one family all in all yes it does look much better than the previous generation the new facelift creta has gotten a massive massive upgrade on the interior it is a very nice place to be in and it has also gotten all of the cues that indian consumers would love there are no missing buttons so you've got an entire array of buttons for your entire uh, hvac controls you've also got uh, media buttons uh, on top of it so that you can just access things at the touch of a button thank you hyundai and you've also got driver modes eco normal and sport when it comes to the other auxiliary parts everything is really nice you've got soft touch plastics everywhere and your immediate hand always reaches a nice place a lot of good materials now when it comes to uh creature comforts you've also got a uh, bose sound system you have um type c charger a usb b port you've got wireless charger and you've basically got all of the amenities you would expect from a modern car you've also got adas driver attention warning and so many other things that you will never feel like you are missing out on any piece of technology inside the car yes you've also got luxuries like uh, ventilated seats and a massive panoramic sunroof nice place to be in quite nice Creta feels rather decent on the road the suspension is plush and is rather comfy for the daily commute fuel economy is also pretty decent and it comes with an ARAI claimed 19.1 kilometers to the liter combined in the city and on the highways the ADAS features are also great and when you find the optimum road with proper lane markings put the car on cruise control and turn on the ADAS the car drives great of course you might feel a bit scared at the start to give control to the car but after a while you get used to it but nevertheless having the ADAS turned on doesn't mean that you can shut your eyes and go to sleep you should always have your eyes on the road at all times nonetheless i feel the creta is a great option if you're looking for a family suv but is it actually which brings me to its price it's 24 lakh rupees uh this is the top model and it is 24 lakh rupees on road pune however for that price if you only had to buy a first hand car theek hai but in the second hand market you've got so much more than you can pick up that it makes me think i would never pick this up in the first hand market i'd just go to the second hand market and get something else for myself i'd pick up something like this the audi q3 this is a 2016 model and it's done just over 52000 kilometers on the odo it's also got all wheel drive just how every suv should have and it's got all of the features and all that you need from a car that should be a family car and that is something that is compact so you got more than enough at a steel deal of 16 and a half lakh rupees which is close to 8 lakh rupees cheaper than a first hand creta so 
I would definitely pick this. But if you are adamant on having something that is first hand, then well, back to the video. I think in my opinion, through the generations of the Creta, it has definitely matured into a form that is, dare I say, evolved, completely evolved, which is very nice. This is a very good car and a very nice product for a quarter of a crore, for sure. It's got all of the toys you would expect, amazing amounts of space, ground clearance, it's pretty rugged and it is rather reliable too. So, you'll be able to live with it, no doubt. In fact, it could be your only family car and it would be the best option you could choose in this price point. However, if you look at the second-hand market, definitely the Q3 makes much more sense. So if you would like to pick the Q3 up, definitely hit TDH classifieds up and it could be the car of your dreams in your garage. But if you're searching for a car that is exclusively first-hand, then there might just not be any other car that might that can give you the amount of features and creature comforts as the facelifted Creta. So yes, it is a great car, but it still has that brand image issue with a little bit of the consumer's reputation. However, this is definitely a much more matured car that will most probably change people's perspective about the Creta. And I'm looking forward to that. And on that note, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do let me know what are your thoughts on the new facelifted Creta and if you would pick it up or you would pick up a second-hand car. Do let us know down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.